start the great team of Allah with the most the manner Rahim, the most Qadir and Kareem. I'm Baba Ali, student of third year Department of Computer Science. And today we will learn about operation research. So let's move towards the work. The agenda, the contents which we will discuss about history of operation research, the operation research, futures of operation research, and the transport tra transportation problem. So first of all, the history operational research has been occurred as a science since 1930s when when it began in a systematic way but as a formal discipline operational research created by the efforts of military planner during world war ii since the time operational research has expanded into a field widely widely used in industries ranging from petrochemical to airlines finances logistics and government now it has become an area of active academic and industrial research operations research the discipline of applying advanced analytic methods to help make better decisions operational research is a problem solving and decision taking technique the techniques of operational research have been applied and proven in many industries under different names. For instance, lean in manufacturing, supply, supply chain in logistics, and yield, yield management in airlines. Futures of operational research. Decision making. So the number one feature of operation research is decision making and the second one is scientific approach so let's discuss about decision making every industrial organization passes multi factored problems to identify best possible solution to their problems and now scientific approach how let's discuss about operation research applies scientific methods techniques and tools for the purpose of analysis and solution of the complex problems. In this approach, there is no place for guesswork and the person bears of the decision maker. The transportation problem. The transportation problem, it is the linear programming technique the transportation problem deals with transport or shipping of any product from origins source to destination the destination where origins as supply of units the destination has demand for units to deliver from the origin objectives of transportation problem the main objective of transportation problem is to minimize total transportation cost while, dis while distributing product from number of source to the number of destinations. Types of transportation problem. There are two main types of trans transportation problems. Balanced transportation problem and unbalanced transportation problem. So here is the structure of transportation problem. So here you can see these these columns are called these these are the origins and so. This is the structure of transport transportation model. These are the origins and these are the demands. 
and here are the supply and these are the destination balance balanced transportation problem a transportation problem is said to be balanced transportation problem if total number of supply is same as total number of demand if total number of supply is equal to total number of demand is called balanced transportation problem now there are two cases case one if total supply is greater than total demand then add dummy column with zero transportation cost case two if total supply is less than total demand then add dummy dummy row with zero transportation cost unbalanced transportation problem if total supply is not equal to total number of demands is called unbalanced transportation problem that is total number of supply not equal to total number of demand is called unbalanced transportation so here is the example the example one with the whole table of transportation here, here you can see the total supply is greater than total demand we have added and you can see the result the demand is 58 and the supply is 68 so we have to make them equal so we will add the dummy column so here here i have added the dummy column so that to make to make demand and supply equal and now you can see the total supply is 68 and total number of demands are also same 68 therefore problem become is balanced and there is example 2 the total demand is greater than total supply in this table the, the demand is greater than supply the demand is 64 and the supply is 68 now we have to make them equal so we will add the dummy row to make them equal and we have added the dummy row and now you can see the demand and supply are equal now the total supply is 74 and total number of demand also same 74 therefore problem becomes balanced thank you very much